Hi everyone, Heather Audrey Lapierre here from HAL Makeup Artistry. Today I'm going to be creating this look where I've used pink all over my face, on my eyes, my cheeks, and my lips. Start with liquid foundation, all over the skin. Next I'm going to apply concealer and my concealer is a shade lighter than the rest of my skin and I'm going to use it as a highlighter today as well. I'm going to press the powder into my skin and I'm going to use the pointed end to apply it around my eyes and the round end to apply the powder to the rest of my face. I'm going to do my everyday contour with a bronzer. I'm going to contour my cheeks by applying bronzer underneath the cheekbone. I'm going to then take the bronzer and apply it around my hairline and then shade in the area between my eyebrows and my hairline on either side, leaving the center of my forehead without bronzer. Because I've applied powder there, it will act as a highlighter. Then I'll apply bronzer on my jawline and down the sides of my nose. And as I said, this is an everyday contour. It just adds a little bit more color to my skin. Before I apply any eyeshadow to my eyes, I always like to start by applying my eyebrow color first because I find that it frames the eye and gives me an area to work within. So I'm going to now apply my eyebrow color and I like to use a powder to frame my eyes. We're making it easy for ourselves today by using our blush as our eyeshadow. Before I apply the blush color to my eyes, I'm going to start with a highlighter and I want this look today to be really glowy and fresh, so I am going to use a frosted color all over the lid to start. Now for the blush color. I always like to finish my eyeshadow by going back in with the highlighter that I started and dusting it underneath the eyebrow. You can really never over blend. I like to do that step because I want there to be a gradient between the pink tone and the white tone that I used and it's not going to be a harsh line. We're going to finish the eyes with mascara. No eyeliner is used for this look because I really just want something that is clean and fresh. Now I'm going to apply the blush color to my cheeks. I'm going to finish today's look with some hot pink lips. So we're using pinks all over the face today in slightly different tones, but again I think that's going to help achieve a really innocent, pretty look. So as you can see, it doesn't take very many steps or very much time to create a look that is pretty and colorful.